Good morning gamers! Today on my weird flex but okay uh, top 8 playmat we're going to be opening up a box of Revival Collection that Bushro themselves were kind enough to send me so large thanks to them. Uh, so we're going to be opening up just one box here. I do have some more that I need to pick up from my uh, locals but I have been away that's the reason why this is late. For those of you that follow me on Twitter you'll know that I was in California for a couple of weeks that's why I was away and why this is late uh, so I didn't you know the box came in while I was in California. California, so I didn't have a chance to open it up obviously, but I am gonna pick up a couple more boxes from my locals Maybe I'll open it up on I need scissors. Maybe I'll open it up on on and like show my polls on Twitter or something But that's you know more reasons to follow me on Twitter But big thanks as always to Bush Road for providing me with a box. I am using nail scissors Which is slightly nasty, but you know, what can you do? Got a modern problems require modern solutions as, as they say, but so we're gonna open up a box um, my main kind of wants in here are basically, uh, well, it'd be nice to get a Drachma, that's the only Xeroth that I would actually use that I don't have. Um, apart from that, I guess another Stark would be nice, but apart from that, I guess Giza would also be nice. But anyway, those, like, the ZRs are, I think, four per case, so, you know, don't have to expect those too much, but in terms of other stuff, Full Art Gallop, obviously, very much wanted. Otherwise, I want my DP Stride Fodders, my, my Nova Grappler Stride Fodders, Angel Feather Stride Fodders. Narukami Stride Fodder is like the least value one for me, but I'll take that too. Um, and apart from that, I guess... G-Guards for each of those clans, since I think they're all usable. But, you know, that's just like Max Rarity stuff. I don't care about Max Rarity that much outside of DP. So yeah, and then we have our little flyer here. Bang Dream, Newsletter, Buddy Fight, as well as Vanguard, YouTube channel, all that good stuff. So we'll crack into it. We have how many packs? I need to leave for work pretty soon, so I can't take too long. Also, because I know a lot of you don't wait until the end of the video at times, um, do check out my second channel. I've been uploading a bit more often there recently, and I do have some more videos planned, so do give that a look. But yeah, so that's going to be link in the description as always, you know, peep that stuff out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs, and I think they all have... I forgot how many cards. They have three cards per pack. Okay, so it's gonna be pretty small, but we're gonna crack into it. I'll just like fan them out over here and we'll go over them, see what we get. So only 30 cards. This video shouldn't take very long, I think. So let's see. We got Mega Colony Stride Fodder. Hopefully it's in focus. We got Shadow Paladin Stride Fodder. I'll like hold them like this, I guess. And then we got the G Guard for Genesis. So they do look nice. It's nice to have, you know, G products once again. Um, you know, if you're looking to get into premium, definitely pick this up. Uh, I do recommend picking up singles though, because, like, the... We'll see what we get from this box. I don't know the pull rates per box that well, but, I mean, it's still worth checking out. Uh, we have the... Ooh, the Stride Fodder for Dark Regulars. This is the alternate art that looks really nice. Then we have the... Ooh, whoa, wait, okay, so we have the Murakumo Stride Fodder, and then we have Alexandros as our first triple rare, so this is the uh, previous GR for Aqua Force, kind of the main carry of the deck, and yes, we don't have stride backs in English, so this is a nice pull, so that's our first triple rare, so I'll just put the rares, double rares, and stuff like that on their own over here, but it's glary, so let me put them maybe here, god, everywhere is glary, that's, that's the problem with, with studio lights, I guess, let me choose where I fan stuff, so there we go, that's better, so... I'll fan the packs out over here, it doesn't really matter where they are, so yeah. But anyway, how you guys been? How you guys been doing? You guys opened some packs? Oh nice, we got Grand Rope, that's that's the one Stride Fodder I actually do want. Then Prism Bird, and G-Guard for Spike Brothers, so that's alright. But, hope you guys open some packs, you know, Premium Collection is coming up soon, which is gonna be really hype, that set is insanely good overall. Uh, we got Bermuda G-Guard, not the best one, but this one's okay too. Um, but yeah, like, Premium Collection is going to be hype, I'll be opening up a few boxes. We got Tommy, we got Gorboduck, and we got Novogrupper, Unier, G-Guard. You play like one or two, so that's good to have. But yeah, so, I'm pretty hyped for that. Sadly, DP isn't as good as I was hoping it would be, you know, as I talked about in the Victor video. If you haven't watched that, do check it out. I talk about, I kind of break down the new Bustard a bit more in detail. We got the, it's interesting they chose this as the uh, OTT one. Oh, damn, boy, we got that SGR, we got Gansalot with the Royal Paladin Clan logo. I think, are SGRs one per box, or is it also, like, not 100%? Because this is, this looks good, damn. I mean, I don't play Royals anymore, especially not in Premium, but this looks really good. Like, if we zoom in on the Clan logo, oof. And also the shine, the little, like, gold streaks on the side. 
yikes that looks good that looks really really nice so that's one SGR that's very fancy so we still have four packs to go that's damn that's nice I I am liking this so this is cool I like this thank you Bushrod good box oh nice we got Nakir as our strike fodder and then Pale Moon G guard so that's definitely okay I got two of my four wanted uh, stride fodders. Wait, did I? Did I get the Narukami one already? I might have missed it, but I'm pretty sure I did not. No, I did not. Okay, so we, maybe we'll still get one. We'll still, we can still see. Maybe you get one of each per box. That'd be pretty nice. But I'll see what I pull from my locals box as well. Not sure if I'll get one or two. Kagiro one, and then our other triple rare is the Gaia Devastate. Not the best one to pull, but I mean, obviously still, still good. It's very essential for Tachikaze. Basically, Every, almost every card in this set is more or less essential for the clans that it's for. Oh, we got Narukami G-Guard. This is good. I need that. Okay, last pack. So, yeah. But we'll be back for premium collection. But honest, honestly, sorry, I stuttered there. So I realize that sometimes I, like, I speak a bit too fast to the point that my brain doesn't catch up. So I apologize for that. But for those of you that are standard players and want to try out premium, this set is good. But like I said, like, you know, if you're... Opening boxes, do it with some friends, because like every single clan is in this, you probably don't need all of them. Um, so you want, might want to like build up a group of friends that all want to try out premium, and then like all have different clans, and you can kind of split the cards and stuff like that. But, ooh, nice, so in our last pack we got the Nova Stride Fodder, which I did want, and we got the Johannes, which is the Aqua Force G-Guard. So the pulls here are pretty nice, it seems like we got, well, we got two triples in the Gaia Devastate and the Alexandros, which is definitely a nice pull, plus the SGR, carefully pick it up, SGR Gancelot Peace Saber. So that's definitely super nice, that, that's definitely a really good pull. In terms of G-Guards, we got a little bit of everything, but you don't get, obviously, you only get seven, so obviously you don't get every clan, but we got, I got two of the ones I wanted, so I'm definitely not complaining, that's definitely super cool. And then for Stride Fodders, you get almost every clan, I think, you get one, two, three, four, wait, hold on. I mean, you should have what? Uh, it should be 20, right? But I don't think there's a single duplicate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're all different, which is pretty nice too. Um, but because it's only 20, you're missing four, which makes sense. So I think if, if this was 12 packs per box, then you would get all 24. But otherwise, you know, this is good. I got almost all of them that I wanted, and they look super nice in full art. Like, that's just amazing. You know, you can you can bling bling your deck for very cheap. Like, these are very cheap, the Stripe Hotters, because they're basically like commons. So do pick up some revival collection because if this set sells well don't forget the revival collection is an english only type of set and so if the set sells well then that gives you know the, the company sees that and then you know they realize that they can make more of these and then we 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 make advantage out of that because we need these reprints because they're essential cards and i think even like after a year standard will want reprints too you know not just like sp reprints like they've been doing with like the shout held and like like perfect guard and link joker perfect guard where like they're just sps essentially but you know revival collections are really good for the game because they just they give us the cards again in a cheaper like better accessibility and stuff like that so whether you're chasing after just like to bling out your deck or whether you're a standard player getting into premium this is a really good set for you so do check it out pick up revival collection from your locals this isn't i mean this is a sponsored product but i'm saying this you know from my own like heart that this is a good product to pick up because it's good for just if you want to get into premium and premium is an amazing format that you should definitely be playing so that's gonna be for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i apologize for it being late but i just returned from america and i was jet lagged for two days and now after sleeping for like 10 11 hours i'm feeling better so that's gonna be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed it i already said that but yes so do check out second channel stuff like that there's stuff in the description once again big thank you to bushrod for sending me the box and that's gonna be it for me today so i'll see you guys next time bye bye